This video will show you how to create lattice ribs to strengthen an electrical cover using implicit modeling. The lattice thickness will be field driven using stress data from a SimSolid analysis. We'll start with the original cover which does not have any features to strengthen the part. Let's set up the boundary conditions to analyze the stress distribution of the required load case. Place a support on the bottom face and a load on the chamfered face where the screw will act on the plate. Run a SimSolid analysis and open up the results viewer. We can see the minimum factor of safety is below 1, which means the part will fail with this load case. To extract the stress data, toggle on the callout mode and open the data table. Place a number of evenly distributed points over the surface of interest, making sure to capture some of the hot spots. Make sure you have the X, Y and Z coordinates and stress data visible in the table. Select all the cells and copy them over to an Excel file, leaving room for the headers. You can delete the first row and add the headers. Make sure the stress data is in the last column. Use Find and Replace to remove the units from the table. Once this is done, save the file in CSV format and return to Inspire. Exit the result viewer and switch to the implicit ribbon to open the point cloud tool. Import the saved CSV file and accept it. Select the part to generate the ribs in and apply a planar lattice to it. Choose the lattice pattern you would like and the number of unit cells across the part. Let's reduce the thickness so we can see the cells. To apply the simulation data to the thickness, toggle on the field mode for the thickness and create a new field. Clear the default driving object and select the point cloud from the model browser. In the input range, enter the minimum and maximum stress values from the data and for the output range, set the minimum and maximum thickness you would like to have and then accept the field. Let's see what this looks like for a honeycomb lattice. Once happy with the lattice, accept it and then accept the implicit part. Now we need to combine the implicit ribs with the plate which will create a resultant mesh part. To validate this design, we need to reapply the boundary conditions same as before and make sure the material is the same as the previous part. We can now rerun the SimSolid analysis, open the result viewer for this design and verify that the factor of safety is now sufficient for the load case. 